Okay. Aero Environment just introduced the P550, a next-gen electric vertical takeoff EV toll, as uh, most of you know, drone built for the long, Army's long-range reconnaissance missions. The P550, I think that looks really cool, it can carry a 15-pound payload, stay in the air for up to five hours, perfect for missions that require endurance. Unlike older drones like the Raven and the Puma, which struggle in urban or forested areas, the P550's versatility lets it handle a couple of different terrains. I mean, this drone isn't just for recon. It's a hunter-killer designed to carry lethal payloads like mortars, perform electronic warfare missions. Sounds like Air Environment has taken taken some notes from UK, Ukraine's fight against Russia, making the P550 adaptable for modern electrical warfare environments. Open modular system. This drone sounds like it can integrate some new tech, making it pretty future proof um, for everything my, that's going my on. My number one challenge on this one is going to be requirements traceability. Um, the the army's need for are, are just shifting rapidly, especially in that environment down there. Um, now they've gone and announced the Raven Puma is insufficient for today's battlefield. So Air Environment is going to really have to establish a robust system to, to trace essentially granular requirements from long-range reconnaissance to electronic warfare capabilities directly into their design and dev processes. So, you know, for me, the solution has to be strong design and change management, especially implementing an agile uh, design and change process um, is going to be crucial to, to integrate all of those two ne ne uh, those new technologies seamlessly. Um, they're going to need to vault. They're going to need to index every design iteration for data integrity while they then continue to adapt with new payloads, uh, new battery technology, new comm systems. So enriching that whole kind of digital thread with those real-time visualizations is, is going to enhance their understanding across all of their teams and then accelerate those decisions, minimize their errors, et cetera. So wait, I'm waiting for it. Are you, you're not, you're not going to mention AI at all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've got to, you've got to sprinkle a little AI, haven't you really? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, that whole speed things up bringing additional intelligence. So AI driven requirements analysis for me, you bring in, that's a, that's a simple no brainer. That's actually a fairly easy with you know, the large language models, utilizing AI algorithms to predict and analyze requirement changes is mm -hmm. going to give air, air environment a strategic edge. And I think it's going to help the impact of design um, in, in real time using that AI, allowing for uh, proactive adjustments rather than reactive fixes along the way. Yeah. I mean, this drone is cool. I know I expressed how much I, I think it looks cool, but that's beside the point. But it also, it can take off without a runway, carry up to 15 pounds payload, fly up to five hours, designed for seamless integration of new technology. Uh, there's just a lot of moving pieces, but a lot that I, AI could help in, in on. So I'm, you I'm guessing you mean 15,000 pounds. Uh, no, no, I, I, I think it's I think it's a pretty lightweight one. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah.